Reef DVM's coming at you today with kind of an update. I'm putting on some new tires on the 320D. This video is coming out a little late because the winter season's been well upon us. We cleaned up the 320D John Deere skid steer. Oh, got the engine bay finally the way we want it for going into the winter. And then uh, got everything filled up. Got the oil there changed and stuff. The hydraulic fluid. Got the windshield washer fluid. Everything filled up that we needed. These nice side panels here remove, which make it really easy on the 320D, much easier than the 250 um, John Deere skid steer, as you can take out the panels and lift the bucket up and get access. Got the radio, the back windows clean, and the big improvement, um, no change this year. We are going with the Life Master tires. Um, these are kind of a all-season tire for skid steers. They're not the grippiest in mud, um, but uh, they work really good for sod, gravel, and snow, um, which is what we're after here. I mean, this skid steer um, has a rating of about, uh, I think, 48 horses or so. This one happens to have the quick attach. And as you can see inside, I've got about 262 hours on it. I cleaned everything up, including the dust off the radio and stuff. So it's really, um, really set for winter. Now, this one doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. But it has the quick attach, got the mirror, got the top that you can see through, all the gauges here on the side. We really like this little beast. And with everything cleaned and armor all, we're all set for basically get out in winter and get some things done. Love the defrost system. This engine is a turbo. It's got an intercooler on it. Uh, holds about uh, 19 gallons of fuel, which is great. And like I say, um, it'll plow all day long um, with the... Uh, uh, with the Life Master tires, we hope on it, and and really do well here around the farm. We plan on even putting on the Boss on it, uh, which is the uh, you know seven and a half foot blade there that we keep on the big boy at times. So again, that's a look around the pressure the pressurized cab, and as you can see there, the snow is starting to pile up on our place. So we're going to show you how it worked. It's just fantastic working with this machine in the snow. There's just not much more I can say. This happens to be one of the more wet, heavy snows that we ran into. Um, you know, this snow is only about 8 inches, but that's still a pretty significant snow on the farm. Uh, we do get more than that at times, and we also get smaller snows than that, but this one still really did well. And the snow gets wet and heavy and compacts. Um, a lot of the skid steers that we've worked with tend to spin the tires and not get much traction. Um, a lot of times we've got to put chains on them like we had to do on our um, John Deere 250. If we want to run that in the winter, it pretty much needs a rear set of chains all the time. This one does not need that with these tires, which is just absolutely fantastic. Um, you can literally grab into the wet, heavy stuff, and in this case, we're even pulling backwards, which is notorious for getting a skid steer to, to break free and slip and, and, and really spin its tires. But it's it's doing it almost effortlessly, which is what we wanted with these tires. I, I think the, the deep lugs on these things really help bite into the snow. And of course, with snow even being wet like this, it seems to be able to clear them quite well. Now, we did have these tires out on some mud and clay just to try them out. And they don't like that quite so much. That will actually uh, cake up the lugs and cause it to spin more. Um, but we don't have a lot of that on the farm, so that makes it really nice. And this particular skid steer does not have the high flow option. It's got the 20 gallon per minute uh, pump in it. Um, so we don't have a blower on it. We just either use the Boss uh, Snowplow, which is featured in one of our uh, other videos on the 5083E tractor, or what we do is we put the bucket on it like this and we just clean out. This particular snowstorm, just because I wanted to show the use of the, the uh, 320D, uh, my wife is just plowing out with it, so to speak, with the bucket on, and it's, it's working really nice for her. Um, you know, we have a gravel driveway, so... Um, don't shoot us. We try not to dig into the gravel. So she's, this is one of the first snows of the year. So she's trying to, uh, you know, not, uh, you know, dig into it. You know, I mean, uh, you get these January snows and sometimes they can be quite wet and quite heavy, you know, and this being one of the first ones here of 2014, we really, really, really just don't want to chew up the driveway until we get our, our base packed down. So and basically she's kind of keeping that bucket up a little so she doesn't pick up the gravel underneath. But as you can see, these tires aren't giving her any trouble at all. Now, granted, they are new. Um, I'll probably put out a video in a year or two once I've worn them down a bit and uh, kind of see how they perform then. But right now, like I said, this skid steer in comparison to the 250 John Deere skid steer that we have the video on doesn't need uh, chains at this time like the 250 does. 
um, and certainly has plenty of power to get up and down the front tail here, moving up and down the driveway and moving the snow without skidding. So I really, I really like that. And of course, for her inside, it's quite comfortable, you know, with the heated cab and stuff. This particular skid steer is, is really a fun machine to drive. So as you can see, she's working her way up the driveway here. And uh, she's moving quite a bit of snow with that bucket. She's kind of using it like a plow right now, which is probably maybe not the most ideal way to, to, to move snow. But again, this is what we had on it tonight. The snowstorm kind of came up on us fast. And we thought, well, it would be a good night to uh, get out there with the camera and, and shoot the skid steer out there working. This skid steer, I think, uh, if I remember correct, uh, weighs about 6,600 pounds. So it's got plenty of weight to, to grip with as long as you've got good tires on it. I think the ground clearance is about 10 inches, if I remember correct. And, of course, she's she's able to, to dump oh, probably 95 to 100 inches up. So, as you can see, we've got some piles of snow made from December. Um, but, you know, those piles will get a lot bigger around here this year, um, just the way it is with January upon us. Like I said, this is the first... The first snow of, of, of the new year, which is really kind of cool. It's a little wet, it's a little heavy, but the machine is doing great. I just I love watching it, I love watching the tires perform as well as they're supposed to. Now you can see there in the background, I've got the John Deere sitting there with the Boss Plow. It's what we like to put on the front of this thing sometimes too to push snow. That Boss Plow has got a universal uh, carrier on it for skid steers, which makes it great. So again, just kind of wanted to show you guys the tires, show them in action, show how it's working. Uh, we had cleaned up the machine just for um, the winter work, and uh, the machine's all looking nice. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll keep you updated on these nice machines like this as we keep them running. This particular one is working great for us. Thanks, folks.